happy Thursday. Whew. It's been a long week, you guys, and we are almost to Friday. We're this close, this close to Friday. <laughs> can you feel it? I can feel it. <laughs> I am counting down the seconds until we get to the weekend. So, how are we doing? How is everyone? Hi, Karen. Sorry, I'm adjusting a bracelet that just decided to fall off right as I was talking. <laughs> so, I have exciting things for today's Facebook Live. Look at what I've got. I have the Magical Mystery Bead Box for October. Mm. And you guys, this is a good one. Like, I don't mean good in like, oh, it's good, you know, no. I mean like this is really good, really, really good. This one is, I've had several of these. And this one is probably at the top of my list of favorites. And I know, Emily, if you are out there watching, <laughs> you, you may be here in just a little bit, you'll call me out and say, Sarah says everything is her favorite. I know, I can't help it. Everything is my favorite. But I really do think that this Magical Mystery Bead Box is my favorite. And part of the reason, good morning, Janice. Hi, hi. Hi, Kelly. The reason this one is one of my favorites is because it is just so luscious and just so, I don't know. There's just not words for this one. It's really, really cool. I am super hot, Dale. Good morning. I am super excited to show this one to you guys. If you already have this box and you have kept it a secret, <laughs> props, because I have had such a hard time keeping my mouth closed. And I want it to continue to be a mystery, you know, because not everybody gets their box on the same day. So, and everybody in the secret stash group and in the magical mystery box, bead box group are really good about keeping it hush hush so everybody can experience the wonderment and joy that comes with opening your monthly box. Um, those of you who are not subscribers, now is the best opportunity to do so. There is a, um, let's see, I believe it was $10 off. I'm so bad at remembering things. Hold on, hold on. Yes, $10 off for new subscribers. Use the coupon code MYSTERY when you go to check out. Save 10 bucks. Get your hands on the new Magical Mystery Bead Box. Um, yeah, when you guys see this one, hi Susie, hi Dawn, hi Rita. When you guys see this one, if you don't already have it, you're going to be kicking yourself, wishing that you had already signed up. So take advantage. Go sign up now. $10 off is a phenomenal sale price. Let me just tell you, like $10 off, that's that's a lot. Um, if you guys have ever gone through your magical mystery bead box and like priced individually, like kind of guesstimated what it would cost, it's a steal. Like... I can't even begin to do the math for you, but I have previously, and I've slept since then, but it's a steal. I'm telling you. It's worth every penny and then some. This stuff is just, and what's great about it, which is good or bad, depending on whether you subscribe or not, is that it's exclusive to the box. Like, you very rarely will you have the opportunity to buy the individual item that is in here. So, like, if you see something that you really, really love, you gotta get the box. That's just the way it works. You gotta get the box, gotta get the box. So we're gonna open the box, we're gonna go through everything that's inside, and then we're gonna make a bracelet. A quick little bracelet, it's easy, it's not a hard one, but it does kind of bring together all of the fun little things that are in this box. And if we've got time, we'll put together a pair of earrings as well, which are super, super cool. So we've got a lot of stuff to do, you guys. But before we get started, if you don't mind to give this Facebook Live a share on the groups that you are a part of or on your timeline, very, very much appreciate that. All right, so the time has come. Let's do it. Let me flip you around, okay? Just so you can see everything up close because it's much better than me just holding it up. All right, here we go. So here's the box in all its glory. It takes up the whole screen. Let me try. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the box over here to my side and that way you guys will be able to see. Oh no, I can't get my box open. <laughs> all right. So this month, oh, love it, 
poor unfortunate souls. You guys. Oh my goodness. So, if you don't know Disney, you're going to be really, really lost. But this is Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Yay! One of my absolute favorite. I have, I have like three Disney movies that are my absolute favorite. And The Little Mermaid is probably, it's either number one or number two. It's, it's kind of a toss-up between Little Mermaid and Aladdin. Um, just two of my favorite, favorite all-time Disney movies. And so Ursula, she's very purpley. She does have the blue, all of the wonderful deep underwater, like dark ocean colors going on here. So this month's theme obviously is her and this, this kind of color scheme. But what's really cool about this is, yes, this is the October box and it does kind of scream Halloween. But the thing is, it works all year. So this is not like standard orange and black Halloween. This is like colors that will work all year. You can make jewelry that you can wear all year. So on the back of the card that comes in here, for one thing, I don't know about you guys, before I show you what's on the back, I collect these. All of the um, the little postcard things that are inside the Magical Mystery Boxes, I save these and I actually hang these up for inspiration. I don't know. What do you guys do with yours when you get your card? Do you put your card somewhere? I keep mine out where I can see it. And then on the back, it tells you what's inside of the box. It's got everything listed, so we're going to start at the top and work our way down. All right, so the first thing is the Lair of the Sea Witch bead mix. All right, hold on. Give me just a second. <laughs> I've already made a mess out of my box, so... Oh, goodness. That is this guy. Now, right? This is this guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right. It is, and I've already gone through mine, and so I've taken some of my beads out because we're going to do a project, right? So some of the beads in mine are missing, but there is one thing. Okay, I love all of the beads in here, but let me show you something that I absolutely love in this mix. Well, there's two things, actually. So the first thing that I really, really love are the check glass drops in purple. They're kind of a matte smoky purple. I don't know. I didn't even know smoky purple was a thing, but it totally is. And there are several of these drops that I really, really love. And then this, this was actually sitting on top when I brought mine out. Um, the first time that I opened this and I immediately was like, yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So this can be a bracelet bar or it could hang this direction and you could hang dangles off of it for a pendant. I just thought it was really super cool. And the circles that are on it remind me of tentacles, like the suction cups on tentacles. Do you guys get it? Do you see it? Do you follow? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I don't know if that's what um, the team was going for, but if they weren't, that's what I, that's exactly what I see out of it. So really awesome bead mix. And like I said, there are beads missing, like my very favorite beads in this little container. I've already pulled out. Um, so this is not all of the beads, but I did want to show you this guy because I thought it was super, super cool. So you've got yourself a little bead mix and it comes with its handy little container. A little bit of everything in there. I love the drops, really love the drops. All right, so next is the Poor Unfortunate Souls bead strand. You guys, this bead strand is gorgeous, absolutely Look at it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so pretty. This bead, this like focal in the center is just spot on. Like perfection goes perfectly with this theme. You've got the metallic rondelles that have that purple and then gold, like mm, just good stuff. Then you've got these glass lampwork beads that again with like the tentacles, the suction cups, like Oh, they even kind of look like um, sea urchins. I don't know. It just the theme. They always nail it, you guys. They do. And then you've got the pop of blue. I don't know if you can see with the lighting here, but you've got that pop of that like deep ocean blue. Mm-hmm. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. This strand is beautiful. 
like there's no other words I really love it I really really love it if you don't love it well that's that's okay <laughs> okay so float some and jet some uh, mini bead mix this is oh my gosh this has so many good beads in it and I stapled mine back again it's missing beads because I pulled some of my favorites out of this but there are so many good beads in this love it so if you guys don't are not familiar with the movie so float some and jet some are the um, the electric eels that are like Ursula's minions and um, so float some and jet some are actually nautical terms which my kids did not know, so I had to educate them in the ways of the Little Mermaid. So Floatsome is when there's like a, sh a shipwreck in the ocean. Floatsome is just the debris that is left behind. But Jetsome is totally different. Jetsome is things that when your ship is sinking, <laughs> just <laughs> random information if you ever needed to know this. If, you're, if your ship is sinking, Jetsome are the items on the ship that they jettison, that's where the word comes from, they jettison off of the ship to lighten the load. So it's like the first things that they throw off the ship to keep it from sinking. So that's that's what floats them in jet. Yeah, you just got educated today. I don't know why it was necessary to tell you that, but <laughs> somebody out there might think that that's pretty interesting. So, <laughs> all right, this has some really funky, cool, there are two of those in there, really love those. There's lots of sparkle, lots of shimmery, there's like some tiny galaxy beads and like this really pretty pinky purple color. This bead right here, I'm not gonna pop this open because I don't wanna clean up the mess, you guys, I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to look at these beautiful beads just like they are, but this guy right here is like a, it's, almost a cone but it's like a triangular shaped cone that sits really well up against another bead I just thought that was a really interesting shape that was included some really beautiful rondelles there are some purple ones there are these blue with that metallic see that bead right there that's one of my favorite rondelle shapes because it's flat on both sides this, it's a cool bead you can do a lot of stuff with it there are the metallic purples again just from like the strand when you put this together like do you see it are you seeing it are you following it <laughs> I am I am I am loving it all right so next is the Nautilus shell large pendant all right so this is super cool because you get to just be Ursula if you want to be Ursula and what do I mean check it out she wears a Nautilus pendant isn't that cool so this one is a huge one, so awesome. I'm gonna string mine up probably just on a piece of black leather cord and wear it just like it is, but you could get crazy with this and make a really awesome statement piece out of it. Really, really love it. I love that this was included. Think that's really super cool and it makes it very, very special. All right, so a hint of Ursula, tentacle custom laser cut charm. Remove white protective layer before use. Okay, so these come in this bag, and I've already taken one of mine out because this is what, if we have time, we're going to make some earrings out of. Ooh, yes, maybe the Nautilus on some fairy silk. That would be awesome. I really like that idea. So, look at this. Mm -hmm. Now, if the camera just does not do this justice. This is like... I don't even know how to describe the color of this. It wants to be green. It wants to be blue. It has a flash of purple. It's just this really crazy, awesome, deep, dark water color to it with the tentacle wrapping around. Just, just the coolest. It really is the coolest. I love it. You get two of these. I've only pulled one of them out because one of them is already an earring, but mm -hmm. super cool. I really, really love these. And you guys... Look for more of these, of these custom laser cut charms from Jesse James Feeds. They are a crowd pleaser and they have the ability to make some really awesome ones. So I don't know if you guys remember, but the box that was the circle of life, there were the Hakuna Matata and then the one that had Simba on it. I just love them. I love them. They're so special. It's just like that extra special touch very custom to Jesse James Beads Magical Mystery Boxes. 
All right, so next is a Swarovski bead mix. You cannot have Ursula and all of her fabulousness without some Swarovski. So there are some Swarovski crystals in some beautiful shades of purple. There are some clear and there are some large bicones in jet. These are gorgeous and will definitely work really well with everything else that's in your box. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it. All right, next is ball and tassel bead mix. Now, you guys, you know, you gotta have some tassels. And these ball beads are probably, are probably top 10 of my favorite ball beads just because the color is just so amazing. I'm actually gonna open this. I think this is great. So, you've got your large black tassels, okay, which are super cool. I love big tassels. I do love the mini tassels, but there is nothing like a big old honking tassel <laughs> that you can attach to something. You've got the purple that is just stunning. You've got two of the smaller purple in just a different shade, which I love. Then, you've got four of the black mini tassels. Again, love them. Super cool. You've got the flower tassels in purple, which are always a crowd pleaser, but then look at the bubbles. Oh my goodness. Look at the color that's in these. Like, it's probably not really even coming across very well, but it's like purpley, magenta, just, it's very royal looking, and there's such bad glare, and you guys are just not getting to see it, but I adore these. This color, like, I wish my hair was that color. I wish I wish I could make my hair that color and keep it that color. Like, oh, it's just awesome. It's just good stuff. Very royal. Very, um, very sea witch, of course. But, again, also, you guys, you can use all of this stuff um, all year. It's not just, not just Halloween. Purples and blues and golds and beautifulness. Um, you can wear all that all year. All right, so the re recycled glass... Handmade in Africa. This is so special, you guys. These are such special beads. So they go perfectly with the color wave. They've got that frosted glass. I absolutely love that these are recycled. If you guys are big on recycled handmade stuff, um, these are handmade in Africa. These are just really special. I um, I already have something in mind that I'm gonna do with mine if I if 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 I pull it off because you know you always think that you've got a project in mind and then it never works out. If it works out the way I want it to, I'll take a picture and post it for you guys um, because I just love these. I really really love the recycled glass beads. I think they're beautiful and they definitely like that mm, that teal color. Perfect perfect addition to the mix. All right, so fun acrylic coral. These are so fun. I love these. These are gonna make the coolest statement necklace. So check it out. You've got all of these acrylic pieces. So they're lightweight, which is super cool. Pieces of coral. I mean, you could really make a crazy underwater sea witch or any time of the year necklace with those. Are those not cool? They're just really kind of funky crazy. I, you guys make something with these. I want to see what you guys come up with. I'm always blown away and completely inspired by the things that you guys make. I definitely want to see what you guys do with these coral pieces. So I think they are awesome. And what's really cool about them is that they're lightweight. There is nothing worse than having a really awesome statement necklace, but you have to take it off after an hour because it's giving you a headache. So I love having lightweight stuff. All right, next, large palms. <laughs> these, these always get me excited. Look at these. This is the large palm set in purple. You can't go wrong with fur. And it's not real fur, obviously. So, yes, just yes. Pet it. Sea urchin. Um, just fabulous sea witch. Anything you want this to be. I love it. And there are two of them. I just want to pet it. <laughs> I'll give it a name and pet it. Just so awesome. Hi, James. All right. So, you get two of those. Those are so fun. Those will make really awesome earrings. Um, and then a clasp trio. So, mine is not a trio anymore because I have taken one of mine out. We're actually going to use it on the bracelet, but I just wanted to show you. So, there's one in the antique brass. It is very um, tentacle-esque, if you will, along with going along with our theme. And then there is this really shiny gold color one that is also really, really pretty. 
And then the one that we're using in our bracelet is this silver colored one that is really cool, just a toggle. The other piece of this is over here. <laughs> So you get three clasps, which I love. I, I love getting clasps. You can, if you don't believe me, you can ask Sarah because I'm like, send me some clasps. I love them. <laughs> I just think that there is, I always just use a lobster clasp. So when I get new pretty fancy ones, I get very excited. All right. So last but not least is chain reaction. And there are two of these. Oh, there is one more thing. I, I don't want to leave that out. I'll get to that in just a second. So um, there are two chain reaction in this box. I'm just going to show you one of them because I've already used one for our project. But um, beautiful silver color with that purple rondel bead running through it. Two of these, two chain reaction. That's a lot of chain reaction. Like, no joke. I love Chain Reaction. I've got a ton of this stuff, and I, it, I'm i always amazed at the colors that come. So this is always a very, very welcome addition. So let me put everything out here so you can kind of get an idea of what you're getting minus what I have already taken out. So keep that in mind. I mean, seriously, this is, this is a ton of stuff. There's not even room for everything. Look at that, and the colors, everything goes together. Jesse James Beads, the team that puts these boxes together, like, they're serious. They know what they're doing. They nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. They picked the most beautiful, deep shades of purples and teals for this mix. It's just, I don't know, I'm always blown away. Like, I know that they are great, and I know that they, you would think by now I would not be shocked at the amazing stuff that they put together, but I always am. I'm always blown away. All right, so last but not least is the What's This? that is always included. So in your Magical Mystery Bead Box, there is always a What's This? And it's just a mini project that comes with um, your magical mystery bead box. So this one is create an Ursula button pin with this quick and easy tutorial. And you flip it over to look and you've got one of those squeezy pin back things. There's like a technical term for what this is, but I honestly do not know what it is. But look at Ursula. Isn't she cute? Yeah, she is awesome. So you can use her to make a pin if you want to. I, I think that's what I'm going to do with mine just because she's just the cutest. But you can also use her just like I showed you guys with the Jack and the Sally. You could, um, you could definitely incorporate her into a piece of jewelry if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, so they give you everything that you need to make her into a little pin. And she is just the sassiest, cutest little thing ever. So yeah, 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 yeah. Super cool, I think they nailed it. This was a great box, really, really love it. You guys, if you are not subscribers to the Magical Mystery Bead Box, take advantage of the $10 off mystery, all capital letters. Add that into the coupon code box when you are checking out and get $10 off for new subscriptions. All right, so now let's get to the jewelry because I've shown you all of the goodies. I'm just gonna try to move these out of my way for just a second. And let's see, let's pull those out. We're gonna create a bracelet. I don't know if you saw the teaser pic or not, but there is a picture. Oh, I forgot when I was putting everything else out. I know you guys already saw this, but when I was laying everything out in a big pile, don't forget that this guy is in there because that's super cool. All right. So we're making a bracelet and we're going to be using some of the chain reaction and we're using some beads from the mix and from the Floatsome and Jetsum mini mix. Okay. So I'm going to set those aside for just a second and we're going to start with the chain reaction. Um, so the chain reaction is super cool because you can use it just by itself. You know, you just, it has like a, a split ring that holds it together and it's actually big enough to put over your head. So you don't even have to add any hardware to it if you don't want to. Um, and you can just wear it as a chain piece, but then you can also break it up. And that's what I did with one of mine. So I cut mine into four sections. And they're pretty close in length as far as them being even. They might be just a teeny, teeny, beeny bit off, but that's okay. They're, they're very, very close. So I cut four sections of this, and this is going to be one half of our bracelet. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to find my tools for starters because we're not going to get very far if we don't have any tools to put this together. I'm going to take a blah, blah, blah. I'm going to take a jump ring. And I don't, I have the weirdest selection of jump rings pulled for this project. I don't really know why. You guys just stick with your six millimeters and your four millimeters. That is definitely not what I have. I don't know. I, I put this stuff together like for a project. I get all my supplies together late at night and it's, it's I should know better because my brain just kind of stops working after about 9 p.m. I should really just go to bed. Okay, so I'm gonna thread all four of these onto um, a jump ring, okay? Easy enough. And then before I close this jump ring, I'm going to thread on the toggle bar of our clasp, okay? So just go ahead and thread that one on and close that back. So. We've already got half the necklace, or I'm sorry, half the bracelet's already done. I mean, come on. <laughs> Super easy. What are we doing today? Okay, so now I'm going to come to the other side and just go right on ahead and add another jump ring to close this, these ends together. I told you guys this one's an easy one, and I'm hoping that it will go smoothly, knock on wood, and we can make some of the little earrings to go with it as well. So I'm just separating out my strands because I really want to thread these on in the same order that they are up here, down here. I just don't like to have my chain strands twisted. So I'm just very, very carefully, whoops, trying to hook that on. Better to use my other hand. All right, so threading all of these on. And, oh, I see Sarah saying hi to Emily. Emily, Emily, are you here, Emily? Meredith is here. Hi, Meredith. Meredith, did you see the um, all the goodies in this month's box? I hope you did, because it's a good one. All right, so I'm closing that back. All right, so this, this is ready to go. We're just gonna sit this to the side. Let's do a little wire wrapping and add some funky fun to this. So I wanted to do some beaded links in between, um, well, not in between, but next to the chain. So I picked out some of the check glass beads that are in this mix, and then some of the little tiny rondelles that are in the Floatsum and Jetsum, okay? so. We're gonna wire wrap two of these so that we'll have three of these total. And then we're gonna just link these together. And we're gonna add some dangles in between, the, in between them because we're extra. I know, I say it every time we're together, but it's true, we're extra. We always go a little above and beyond and make things extra sparkly, extra shiny, extra movement, all extra. All right, so I'm taking a piece, a really long, huge piece. This is just a ridiculous amount of 22 gauge wire. And we're going to create a wrapped loop and then we're going to thread on our beads. And then we'll do that kind of twisty thing just to add a little extra something because we're extra. All right, so I'm going to use my chain nose pliers. I'm coming down way too far. You want to give yourself about an inch. I always give myself more. Okay. <laughs> it looks like bra underwire. Mia, you are funny. <laughs> All right, so I bent that wire. I'm going to come in with my round nose pliers. And we're going to go <laughs> up and over. Okay. Adjust the grip with your pliers and go ahead and bend that wire on around. Switching hands. <laughs> and then we're just going to wire wrap about three times. You can use your pliers for this. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends. I'm feeling the fingers today, so I didn't use the pliers for it. So you just want to trim off, and then you've got a wire wrapped um, eye pin that's ready to go. So we're going to thread on one of the tiny metallic purple rondelles. We're going to thread on one of these beautiful check glass beads. This is a black check glass bead, but it has that AB finish. You know, it has that fire polish, not AB finish has the fire polish kiss to it, if you will. 
and then another one of the rondelles. All right, so we're gonna do the wire wrapping on the other side, just a wire wrapped loop, exactly the same and we're gonna take the tail and wrap it around the beads. So bending that wire 90 degrees, coming in with round nose pliers up and over, adjusting grip, taking the wire on around, and then wrapping three times. Okay, so I have this big long tail of extra wire, so we're gonna use this. We're going to take the wire and lay it Diagonal, <laughs> diag. I'm I'm about to make up a word. <laughs> that is, no, diagonally across the surface of that first little rondelle. Okay, and then we're gonna go behind the rondelle, and then across the surface of that large check glass. Same thing. Okay, in that diagonal fashion, if you will, and then to the back and around diagonally across that smaller rondelle. And then you're just gonna take the tail and wrap once or twice around what you've already got, your wire wrapping that was already there, and then just trim your tail off. So you can totally skip this step. You don't have to do that extra little wire wrapping around the beads if you don't want to. Um, but if you're just looking for a little extra touch to your, uh, your little beaded dangles, then that's a, that's a fun, easy one. You know, just an extra little something that you can add if you want to make it a little different. And also a good way to use up your wire when you cut way too much like I oftentimes do. So there are two of those. We're gonna do one more so that we have three of these beaded links. And then we're gonna connect these with jump rings, but in between where we connect these with the jump rings, we're also gonna hang some dangles. All right, so one more time. I'm gonna come in, my chain nose pliers, grabbing that wire, giving myself about an inch and a half, bend to the wire 90 degrees, okay? Bringing in the round nose pliers, up and over. And then on around, okay? Switching hands, this time I'll use my pliers and wire wrap around the straight section of the wire. You wanna go about three times. Okay. And trim off the tail. All right, so our little wrapped eye pin is ready to go. We're gonna thread on the rondelle, thread on the check glass round and the other rondelle. All right, same thing. Come in to the other side, grabbing that wire just right as it exits the bead. Bending that wire 90 degrees. Coming in with round nose, up and over. Adjusting the grip on a round. And then do about three times around. And now I'm gonna use the rest of my tail Sue, I'm using 22 gauge wire, but you can use whatever gauge you like. I like 22 just because it's a little bit smaller than 20. Um, when I very first started making a ton of jewelry, 20 was my go-to gauge, but over the years, I've, I've really gotten to where 22 is my go-to. Um, and I'm using German style, but you can also use artistic wire. It's totally up to you. All right, so again, we're going across the surface of that rondelle and then to the back, okay? And then across the surface, okay? Then to the back. And I'm not wrapping all the way around. You can do that if you want to. Like if you have even more wire left over than I have, I, um, I will go all the way around. Like I'll go around, I'll go across the surface of the bead to the back all the way around back from the back and then around. Um, but I'm not doing that with these just because these little rondelles are very, very small. And if you do add that extra wrap around, it tends to crowd out that little tiny rondelle. And all you see is the wire. You don't get that pop of color in there. So just little things that I take into consideration when I'm working on something, but it's up to you. 
All right, so I'm just gonna trim the tail off. And there we go. We've got three of these. We're gonna link these together. And we're just gonna use six millimeter jump rings in between these. And I pulled, like I said, I pulled out some of my favorite beads that you guys didn't see when I, well, I didn't actually open this mix. I can't remember if they were from this one or from this one. I don't know, but they're in the magical mystery box. These were some of my favorites. I love teardrop shaped beads. I'm a real sucker for the shape and I love to turn them into dangles. And so there's this deep blue. It almost looks black on camera, but it's this like really deep teal. Okay. And then this kind of rosy purple that is definitely not coming across on camera the color that it actually is. Um, and then I used some of these little, just to kind of bring in that little rondelle into the rest of the design. So there's the little rondelles and then these little sparkly guys as well. So what we're gonna do, let me go ahead and attach these and then we'll, we'll put together the other set here. So, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna open up a six millimeter jump ring. We're gonna thread on one of our little bead wrap things. <laughs> that is a technical term, <laughs> bead wrap thing, you know. And I'm gonna thread on one of the little rondelles, one of the teardrop beads, the other teardrop bead, the other little round guy, and then my other bead. And then I'm gonna close this back. So then you have like, these extra dangles that are going to hang between your larger beads. So it's going to have that kind of cha-cha bracelet feel, very cluster bracelet feel without being over the top. Because remember, we have chain on the other side of our bracelet. So we've already got a whole lot going on, but I did want to incorporate more color into this so that it wasn't just little pops of purple and metal. So there you go, that's where we're going. So because you guys like to watch me wire wrap, which I think is just the weirdest thing ever, <laughs> we're gonna wire wrap all four of these little guys and we are going to use some head pins to do that. And these are not my favorite head pins, but it's okay, we'll make it work. These are a little stiffer than the ones that I normally use, but again, when you make your choices, Late at night, you just never really know what you're going to come back to in the morning on your workbench. So, all right, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm grabbing that wire right above the top of that bead. We're going to bend it 90 degrees. Part of the reason that I don't like these is because I don't get a nice sharp bend. That just irritates me to no end. I know it's such a silly thing, and in the end, you don't even, you don't even see that like the bend goes away but I don't know it's just it's just not quite as satisfying if I don't get that nice sharp bend in the in the head pin all right up and over on around guide the wire around and then we're going to wire wrap about three times <laughs> all right so there's one ready to go And we're gonna trim that off. Okay. Next, do the other teardrop, and then we'll do the smaller ones. They're a little bit harder to see because my fingers kind of take over, but. Okay, bending the wire 90 degrees. Round nose pliers coming in, up and over. Switching hands and wire wrapping about three times. That color, I wish you could see it on camera. It's just not showing up. It's like almost electric. And look, when you kind of give it that, it looks like deep ocean. I'm just telling you, they know what they're doing when they pick out the beads for these mixes. They seriously do. I, I have a feeling that they look at things the same way that the rest of us creative types look at them, you know, they get it when they're looking at it and then they're letting the light reflect off of it. I know somebody in the team was going, this looks just like the ocean. <laughs> All right, so now we're to the little beads. 
and same thing up and over on around you guys we are one week away from Halloween do you guys have fun Halloween plans you guys I've talked a lot about my Halloween what are you guys doing for Halloween do you get lots of candy and have trick-or-treaters do you get lots of candy and turn out the lights and eat all the candy and not give it to the trick-or-treaters <laughs> Any Halloween costume parties? What do you guys like to do? All right, we've got one more little bead to go and then we are gonna finish putting our bracelet together. 90 degrees. Look, see, that's just not a good bend. <laughs> that's just not a good bend. I don't know why I picked these up. I should donate them to my bead society and let those ladies have the head pins that I don't like. These are just not my favorite. All right, now this bead is really small. I only have enough room for two wraps. I don't wanna push it because I don't wanna crack that bead. So we're just gonna leave it like it is. All right, so coming in with our jump ring and Oh, that's awesome. Sylvia lives in a neighborhood with lots of kids. I, we do too. We have tons of kids. We have like 2,000 trick-or-treaters last year. Oh, Tracy says she's working on the yard haunt. Tracy, you're a, you're a lady after my own heart. We are all about that. It's working on costumes. That's awesome. I can't sew, so um, I don't do I don't do very well on costumes. I do a lot of store bought. I wait until after Halloween is over, and then we always go around town and grab all of the clearance costumes so that we have plenty of costumes and plenty of sizes for all the actors that come and volunteer. So I have tons of costumes, but I've never um, handmade costumes. My mom always handmade my handmade my costumes when I was a kid. I just, I, I never learned how to do that. All right, so now we're ready to put this together. We're gonna put um, the loop of our toggle down here on one end. And we're also gonna add this seashell charm that was included um, just because I like it and why not? <laughs> so, I'm gonna open up jump ring and I'm gonna add this jump ring. I know that there's already, whoops, my pliers have been magnetized. Um, I know there is already a jump ring here, but I don't want to directly connect these two together. So I'm gonna add a, another jump ring in between there. This is just a little bit of a space maker between the two sections. It's also gonna add some length. If you want your bracelet to be a little bit shorter, you can always take out or add jump rings if you need length. So there's that. This would also be another place where you could hang dangles if you wanted to. All right, so we're gonna come down to the other end here. Now, I, don't, I have too, way too many jump rings going on here. I think I might, I might have, oh, okay, I see what I did. All right, so same thing here. <laughs> Sorry, I was wondering what kind, of, what kind of situation I've given myself. All right, so six millimeter jump ring here. This is not gonna go directly to the clasp. I'm gonna attach the charm here and it also has a four millimeter jump ring on it just so that it will hang flat, okay? And then my ring for my toggle also has a little four millimeter jump ring on it, so I'm just gonna thread that one on too, okay? So this jump ring has a big job. It's holding on to a lot of different things here. All right, so there we go. We have a really fun little cha-cha on one side, some chain on the other side, so you're getting a little bit of everything. We've got this beautiful toggle clasp that was included in the box. You're showing off all of the colors for the bracelet. So it's a little bit sea witch, but it's also a little bit classy, sparkly fun. Definitely a fun little bracelet that you could put together a million different ways. I mean, you really could get super creative with this. You could mix this up. You could do beads. You could do two strands of the chain over here, two strands of the chain over here, one strand of the beads, and add a strand of beads over here as well. So I, there's a lot of options. 
you know, this was not a hard one, but it's a fun one that just, you know, it just instant gratification jewelry. That's what I like to call it. And sometimes you just need instant gratification jewelry. All right. So I'm going to look at the clock. So it's, we've, we've actually finished kind of early. So how are you guys feeling about putting together a pair of earrings real quick? I already have all the pieces together. I'm going to show you the earring. So this is the earring design. It's super easy. Okay, we'll just whip this up real, real quick, and then I'll let you guys go on about your day. And you can join me over on the Silver Silk Facebook page after this if you want to. Or not, it's totally up to you, but I hope you do. We're using the new Swarovski for October, and it is gorgeous. All right, so let's put together the earrings, just because I like to have them match. <laughs> match my bracelet so I can wear this out later as I am going about my day. All right, so this is put together with just a series of jump rings just so that the beads don't hang over the top of the charm because I don't want to cover this up in any way, shape, or form so that the light comes through. See, it's really the light coming through the back of this is what really makes it pop. So I didn't want the um, beads to get in the way. All right, so... Just like with the bracelet, I put together the exact same little dangles with wire wrapped tops and we've just got a couple of, of jump rings here. So I'm going to take one jump ring and thread it through the top of our charm. Go ahead and close that back. Okay. And then I'm just going to link together three jump rings, but the first two are not gonna have anything on them. Okay. So there's that, just giving us the length that we need. And then when we open this last jump ring, this one's the one that has the big job to do. So we're gonna thread it onto the top, and then on one side, I'm gonna put one of the larger beads and one of the smaller beads and then on the other side I'm going to put one of the larger beads and one of the smaller beads and while I have this jump ring open I'm just going to go ahead and thread on my ear wire and close that back and boom we have these super cute little cha-cha earrings with the tentacles that are going to match the bracelet that we made as well so that was easy quick and easy super super fun. Not everything has to be complicated. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna flip you guys around and I'm gonna show you these earrings because I don't have a pair of earrings on, so you'll really get to see these. All right. Hello again. All right. Whew. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. All right. Here are the earrings. You say, wear me. How cute are those? So you still get the, the dangle sparkle movement from the beads, but you don't cover up that tentacle charm. And so when I pull my hair up later, it's such a beautiful sunny day here. It's cold, but it's beautiful. Then you, these charms are really gonna pop. I wish you guys could tell what color that is. It's this, the coolest, deepest teal ever. So, take advantage. If you have not subscribed to the Magical Mystery Bead Box for Jesse James Speeds, go do that. Um, take advantage of the mystery, all one word. Well, obviously, it's all one word. <laughs> what I meant to say is all capital letters. When you go to check out, add mystery into the coupon code box and get $10 off for new subscribers to the Magical Mystery Bead Box. Um, and yeah <laughs> enjoy it absolutely enjoy it it's worth it it is so worth it if you are not a mist <laughs> if you are not a subscriber you are missing out because as you can see they know what they're doing they're putting together these wonderful themes and it's so exciting every month to find out what the theme is going to be and you know as a team member I can I can know ahead of time like there's 
it gets talked about. Um, but I told Sarah for, for this month, I, I asked if I could unbox this month because I knew it was going to be something really cool and spectacular for Halloween. And I was totally not disappointed. Um, but I told Sarah, don't, don't tell me, don't tell me. I want it to be a surprise. I really want to be surprised. And I was, I'm always blown away. Like even when I know what the theme is going to be, it's always just amazing to see how well the theme is executed. The artwork, the beads, all of it. It all comes together and it's just, it's just great stuff. It's really fun. It's an exciting way to experience beads. It's like Christmas once, once a month. You know, you love jewelry making. That's why you're here and you love buying beads. This is like, let somebody else buy the beads for you. And surprise, it's a gift from Jesse James Beads. I don't know. That's the way I look at it. It's very exciting. When the box shows up in the mail, I always know what it is. And, you know, it's, it's always a, um, an exciting thing to open. So definitely subscribe if you have not had the opportunity to do that. Give yourself an early Christmas present, holiday present, whatever. Definitely take advantage. All right. So that is the end of things for me today. I am going to be over on the Silver Silk and More Facebook page at 1230. So a little bit little more than 30 minutes about 40 minutes I will be over there and I am making a necklace using some of the Jesse James beads Swarovski um, beads for this month let me pull it up before I totally destroy so it's sapphire sapphire is the October um, psychology of color uh, for October I have no idea if what I just said made any sense <laughs> You guys know what I mean. Sapphire is the color for October and um, I'm making a really fun necklace over there. So come hang out if you want to see some more jewelry making. And you can also catch me tomorrow at 1 p.m. on Sarah Ellis Designs Facebook page where I'm using some more of the sapphire beads um, to make a lariat with um, some faux suede lace that's just a really super cool looking necklace. So come check it out. Lots more jewelry to make. Lots more things to do. It's not quite the weekend yet. So all right, I will see you guys same time, same place next week. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. It has been a pleasure hanging out with you guys. It always is. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye, guys.